Hey guys, I'm back again with yet another very interesting topic and that is human growth hormone. So all the parents worried about your child's growth and even the athletes who want to improve their performance, watch this video carefully. So today I am going to share what is human growth hormone, how it helps in improving athletic performance and how you can boost your growth hormone naturally. So athletes, as usual, this video is going to be a little technical like my other videos, but it's important to be smarter athletes. You should know how your body, food, sleep, stress, etc. impact your performance so that you can make smart choices in life rather than following some influencers, gurus or Dr. Google. So quickly hit that subscribe button. I'll be right back after this short intro. Human growth hormone, also known as somatotropin, is a peptide hormone secreted by pituitary gland. Now, pituitary gland is in the brain. So in simple words, human growth hormone is secreted by the brain and it is made up of 191 amino acids. This hormone plays some of the very important roles in the body. So first of all, as the name suggests, it causes growth in children, influencing height and helps in building bones and muscles. Whereas in adults, it does not cause growth, but helps in maintaining normal body structure. Then GH helps in maintaining normal blood sugar levels. It also plays an important role in body composition and cell repair. Growth hormone has important effects on carbohydrate, protein and fat metabolism. It also boosts your muscle growth, strength and exercise performance while decreasing your body fat and helping you recover from injury and diseases. Now here are some quick facts about growth hormone. So see growth hormone plays such crucial roles in the body. Now I have few quick facts about this hormone. So number one, growth hormone is not secreted continuously, but it is released periodically every three to four hours, like during certain stages of sleep, during certain parts of the day and with exercise. Menstrual cycle and oral contraceptive pills have significant impact on growth hormone secretions. Then secretion of growth hormone is slightly higher in women than men and highest secretion is is observed at puberty. Then growth hormone levels are higher during slow wave sleep and increases with exercise, stress, fever, fasting and certain amino acids. And lastly, secretion of growth hormone decreases with age by around 14% per decade. But secretion varies with normal pathological and physiological conditions. So if children and adults have too less or too much growth hormone, then they may have health problems. Like too much of growth hormone can cause excessive growth in children and they become abnormally tall. Whereas in adults, excessive growth hormone production for longer period of time may produce a condition called acromegaly, in which patients have swelling in the hands, feet and all altered facial features. These patients also have organ enlargement and some serious medical disorders like heart problems, then high blood pressure and diabetes. Whereas low levels of growth hormone may result in poor growth in children, decreases quality of life, increases fat, increases risk of heart disease and weakens heart, bones and muscles. So generally growth hormone deficiency is treated with synthetic growth hormone. Now here comes the problem. I want all of you guys to listen to this part of the video very carefully because it is one of the very important part of this video. So since the inception of synthetic growth hormone developed through genetic engineering, it has been misused in sports because of its anabolic properties. Though there is limited evidence that growth hormone doping improves athletic performance. So growth hormone supplementation is banned and comes under doping. International federations and International Olympic Committee have listed growth hormone in the list of prohibited substances since 1989. In 2006 prohibited list, growth hormone is listed under class S2 of hormones and related substances. So athletes competing in power sports, professional wrestling, weightlifting, then mixed martial arts, swimming, soccer, baseball, strength sports, track and field, 
and endurance sports have been said to misuse this growth hormone in combination with other performance enhancing drugs like androgenic anabolic steroids like testosterone and even EPO. This substance abuse is based on the fact that human growth hormone is more difficult to detect than other performance enhancing drugs. Athletes use it to increase their muscle mass and power. But human growth hormones effect on athletic performance is unknown. And wait, there are some serious side effects of growth hormone abuse which may include nerve muscle joint pain then swelling due to fluids in the tissues, carpal tunnel syndrome, numbness and tingling of the skin, high cholesterol levels, diabetes and abuse can also contribute to cancerous tumors. So athletes make sure you stay away from any kind of synthetic growth hormone as it is not only illegal but it is potentially dangerous. So here are some natural ways which can stimulate your body's natural ability to produce growth hormone naturally. So the first one is you need to sleep more. Studies have shown that poor sleep can reduce the amount of growth hormone produced by the body. In fact, getting an adequate amount of deep sleep is one of the best strategies to enhance your long-term growth hormone production. So athletes focus on optimizing your sleep and aim for 7 to 10 hours of quality sleep per night. Now, apart from sleep, you need to focus on losing your body fat, especially belly fat. So if you have more belly fat, then growth hormone production will be poor, which means increased risk of diseases. So losing belly fat will help to optimize growth hormone levels and other aspects of health. So now how to lose this belly fat? Well, I have a detailed video on this topic, which I will link it up there and in the description box below. Next, you need to reduce your sugar intake. A study found that healthy people had three to four times higher growth hormone than people with diabetes or impaired insulin function. Higher insulin levels lead to lower growth hormone production. So athletes limit your intake of large amounts of sugar and refined carbs especially post-workout. The next natural way is to exercise at high intensity. Exercise is one of the most effective ways to raise your growth hormone levels, especially high intensity exercises. So this increase depends on the type of exercise intensity, your food intake around your workout and your body's own traits. Research shows that a heavy resistance exercise protocol of high volume and shorter rest periods produced a drastic stimulus to serum growth hormone levels within the body. So athletes high intensity exercise really helps in boosting up your growth hormones naturally. And lastly, certain safe supplements can temporarily increase your growth hormone like glutamine, arginine, creatine, beta alanine, melatonin, etc. But make sure to consult a qualified sports nutritionist before you consume any supplements. So that's all about growth hormone. Athletes, make sure you sleep well, exercise regularly, avoid sugar and refined carbs and eat healthy, not only to boost your growth hormone, but also to stay fit and healthy too. And do stay away from any kind of synthetic growth hormone supplement. So I hope you learned something new today. And if you did, then make sure to hit that like button. And if you have any queries, then do drop them in the comments below. I would be happy to answer them. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. I will see you next week. Until then, stay safe and eat healthy.